This one is called the twisted secretary sit. You don't have to be up high for this one. You can take it from a pole sit from the ground, or if you want it to be up higher, you can take it up higher, okay? So the only prerequisite to work on this very gorgeous pole shape is to be comfortable with a pole sit, okay? Like I said, you don't even have to climb it up. This one works great on spin. It works great on static. This is a great idea for an upcoming photo shoot. You can get all dramatic with the arms, whatever shapes these you want, okay? So we're gonna go into a pulse sit, however you wanna go into your pulse sit. Like I said, if you wanna climb up, if you wanna just go from the ground, whichever that is. From my pulse sit, if I'm leaning to my right, I want my right leg low. I'm gonna lower it until the back of my right knee is either almost touching the pole or is touching the pole. And I'm gonna bend it. So I've got all this surface area touching the pole. From here, my right hand or the side I'm leaning to is gonna hold on to the pole. I'm gonna wrap my inside arm around, grab this bottom leg. If you feel comfortable, you're gonna let go of that inside hand. It's gonna go under the inside thigh. You can either grab here or if you wanna get you know, extra dramatic, you can take that hand all the way up to the face, to the shoulder, whatever shape you want it to be. To come out of it, Open up that same arm as top leg, re-grab, back to your pulse it. Okay, so the shape is gonna look different for everyone. Different body shapes, sizes, proportions, all those things, okay? I would say with this, one of the things I find that A, gives it better grip and makes the shape more um, discernible or makes it stick out from just a regular pulse it is the farther apart I go with my legs, okay? If I put my legs really narrow and bend, it kind of just looks more like a pulse it. So it gives it a little bit more of a, well, not the words dramatic, um, I don't know, striking shape. If I separate the legs a little bit more, which comes from that first leg staying roughly horizontal and the second leg, the direction I'm leaning to, that leg starting to point towards the ground where it's close to my knee so that I have a little bit more space between my legs, with, which gives the move a little bit more depth, okay? Hands positions on this one. Let's just go over it real quick. From that pull sit, leg down, outside hand below the armpit, reach through, grab the foot. Try not to grab your toes because that tends to sickle the foot. Try to grab the top of the foot or the ankle if you can, but everyone's a little bit different. Then from there, under the inside arm, grab your thigh, grab your shoulder, grab whatever feels good, get dramatic, get not dramatic, whatever that means to you, whatever shape you want. And then bringing it out. So, Play around with this little shape, see? Put it with some of your other favorite tricks on static, on spin, put it in a photo shoot, try it high, try it low, have some fun with it. Mm -hmm.